to Gumball 3000 Rally. And I've always wanted to do, but they do it in different areas every year. And you're supposed to abide by all the laws and it's not supposed to be a race. It's basically just where a bunch of car guys get together and have some really cool exotic cars. They throw a bunch of stickers on them and, and deck them out for the rally. And it's more about like the camaraderie of being together and you know, making stops together. just got here at Atlantic Station. We're underground in a parking garage and I'm pretty sure the cars are right above us. We're gonna go navigate over to these stairs over here and then probably pop up right where the, the actual cars are lined up at. Yeah, just waiting on Joe to get the gear out of the truck. How's it going over there, man? I'm trying to, trying to gather this equipment <laughs> in the dark. I'm having trouble. Can you need me to hold your flashlight for you? I love to keep Those are the French police. You got the uniform, you can arrest him. Feel free. So the Pog guys are insane. Um, they've got their Ferrari that's outfitted in a French police car. And we started hearing these loud noises and seeing a little bit of smoke. And we were like, what's going on? And then over the loudspeaker, they were saying, we think the Pog de Marie is over here doing donuts. So we go over there and it's a tiny road with, with the other rally cars parked in the way there. And uh, these guys are sitting there doing donuts with their siren going and their lights on. And I was like, oh my God, I mean, so close to hitting curbs and the other cars. And I was like, these guys are insane. Then they're standing on their car, they're shooting champagne everywhere. that's kind of flicking off uh, everybody and uh, they were sitting at a table earlier and I got a picture of uh, the little gnome um, with, it, with his finger in the air and uh, with um, the guys in the background took a picture of it and posted it in my story and they actually uploaded it to their story which is pretty cool so We were in the back part of the um, area here, heard loud noise, and we heard DDE on the loudspeaker, and everybody took off running, of course, to go check out the SVJ. And when we got up there, they didn't disappoint. They had the scissor doors open, and uh, they were out filming and just revving it up like crazy. They actually ended up parking right here and revving, giving a good few revs and playing around. Um, and then everybody was kind of crowding them, and I've been following uh, them and Shmi and several other guys on Instagram and their stories, and I knew Shmi and DDE were gonna be hanging out together. And so right behind them, there was Shmi. So while DDE crowd was kind of hanging out, I went and like chased down the Shmi car that came right in behind them and got right at the driver door and um, got to talk to him, got a nice selfie with him. Uh, almost caught a shirt, I was holding my drink, he got smashed, somebody snatched a shirt out of my hand. It was fun, got a good selfie with him, talked to him for a little while. It was pretty cool, got some great shots. And he's super friendly. Uh, I mean, the, the guy that you see on YouTube is the guy that he is in person. Giving out stickers, giving out shirts, you know, giving a lot of handouts and really paying attention to the crowd. And the crowd was eating him up. Um, and while I was standing there, Vin Wicky was actually standing there uh, bumping fists with him, which was pretty cool to actually see him too. I don't think he's got a car here, but he must just be here in town for the event and uh, saying hi. So I got a few pictures of him as well. And then uh, I was like, okay, well the DDE crowd's probably calmed down, so let me walk back from the back area just around the corner to the DDE car and I noticed they weren't there. So I was kind of waiting a little while and then all of a sudden they appeared and um, I was kind of standing there patient and um, I was like, man, I really want to get a wrist shot because it'd be really cool me following them on Instagram and stuff. I've been noticing that they've got their APs on and their Rolexes and stuff like that. I was like, it'd be really cool if I can get a shot with their like watch. Everybody's here with their cars and everything else, but nobody's really doing anything with watches. Um, and I know those guys really love watches, so I was like, heck yeah, let me grab a shot with them. Um, so 
waited and waited. Uh, Vince uh, with Carnoisseur, who's my uh, detail studio back in Columbus, saw him. He's across from me, ends up getting a selfie with them, and he's like, come over here. And I'm like, no, I'm gonna stay here. A few minutes later, here they come. And uh, so I was able to grab a, a selfie with Dave, and then I asked for a wrist shot. And he came over, and he's got an AP on, and uh, he held up his AP, put it up against mine. I got some pictures of it, which is really cool. He whispered, he was like, well, it's pretty cool to actually, um, you know, admire his watch and then him take a picture and talk to me a little bit. Um, I think that was kind of the icing on the cake, and it was right here at the last part of the day. But it's been uh, one of the most fun things I've done in a long time. It was awesome, well worth the drive, uh, well worth the selfies and everything to be able to get the pictures of the cool cars like the SVJ. There's a Senna behind me over here. Um, I mean, there's just, there's a P1 back in the back. I mean, all the McLarens and Lamborghinis and Ferraris that are here, it's freaking awesome to see this. And it's awesome to see all of these guys, you know, come together for a great cause. So, um, yeah, I mean, totally excited and uh, can't wait for the next one. This has been amazing.